So I'm in my shower, as you can see, we've got pretty much everything working. We've got hot and cold water. One thing we don't have is a shower door yet, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. And we've gone for a roll door, which is a sliding door with a magnetic catch on the other end. Should look quite neat once it's in. Right, so here it is. We haven't opened it yet, really. So It's another package we've had lying around for a while, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We thought, why don't we just do this now? Hopefully a nice quick project. Um, okay, I probably should turn it around. <laughs> do I do that in here? <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh. Can I go outside? Yeah. See you later! <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, if we've measured this right, should be exactly the right height to just put straight in the doorway. It should be, yeah, because you can get it custom, whatever custom size you need, so... To yeah. the millimetre. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, nice. It okay. looks pretty good. Yeah. First impressions. Not bad, is it? So what do we do? Just kind of put it in a rectangle, I guess. I guess so. There's no instructions that comes with this, but there is some videos on YouTube, so it shouldn't be too bad. We can figure out how to do the first part again. Right, so that's the screen. So we've got the cartridge, the screen which rolls into that, and then basically just the top and side panels. And then, um, yeah, the screen just has this end to it, which has a little magnet on it to put it together. So what we need to do is just get this slotted in there. So this little tab, um, and this string is just what keeps it all under tension. So there's a little groove there for it to run in. Just going to thread that in there, get it on that piece, and that should just slide in there like that. Right. Nice. Right, let's see if it fits. Okay. So there's two different sides to the screen and you can choose which way you want it. So you can have it this on the outside or the inside and you can have the cartridge on either side as well. And because we've got a shower, what we've done is gone for the waterproof side, which I think is this one. Is that this one? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a more shiny side. This is a bit more fabric-y. So this waterproof side will go in the shower. So, see ya. <laughs> We did measure it to the millimetre, so it's going to be tight. Might need to push them together a bit more. The good thing is, if it's too long, uh, too wide, then it's quite easy to cut it down. So it's better to order it a little bit bigger if you're not exactly sure. You might have to help me from your side. Okay. Is it going to go? So close! <laughs> I think it will. just needs a bit of persuasion. There, there we, we go. go. Oh wow! It feels really weird being enclosed for the first time in here. Okay, how does it look? Looks good. Yeah. Right. There we go. Hey. Nice. Not too bad. And still got a decent amount of space to get out. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, this is great. It means we don't have to do any trimming down at all. Yeah. It's exactly the right width. It's quite snug, as you can see. Yeah, closes nicely. And we've left that gap at the top on purpose, um, basically for ventilation. So the idea is that, because we've got our diesel heater venting into the shower now, with a little vent down there, that'll blow air through and up, and then we'll have the max fan on, which will be on pretty decent power when we're showering, and that hopefully will create a nice flow of air going up through the shower and then out, out the down there. So yeah. <laughs> How's your first experience of the shower cubicle? <laughs> it's good. It makes it, yeah, it makes it feel like a proper shower. Oh. It's alright, isn't it? I've just got to figure out how to actually put it in. <laughs> yeah, so fixing wise, shouldn't actually be too bad. It doesn't come with any holes in it because they leave it for you to do your own holes because they don't know where you want it, uh, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cartridge out and then drill a few holes in it to put some screws in 
into this wall and then for this side which is a lot thinner might screw it or we might get away with just putting some uh, sealant and just bonding that in on the side and then just need to add some drain holes at the bottom that's pretty much it So we're just having to sand a couple of the tabs on um, one part of the door because we just got it stuck in this uh, horizontal section at the end there. So uh, yeah, it took a while to get it out. Yeah. So just sanding it so it will go in a bit easier next time we put it in. That side came out okay, but this one was ridiculously was stiff. Almost like it was welded on, wasn't yeah. it? So I think when we put it back in for good, probably going to put a bit of the silicon lubricant spray on it. Hopefully, we won't have to take it out and dismantle it. But um, yeah just if we need to in the future <laughs> make it a little bit easier so there's a little clip which held these two bits together which we've just taken off now i need to separate this one move that away and then apparently we can just lift this up Try. there we go there's one end there we go. now that one comes out like that this one comes away completely. Cool. Now we can leave that on its own and just fix this one into the frame. That's quite good as well because if we ever needed to replace the entire screen, you can obviously just take out the cartridge and put a new one in. Yeah. So we've just drilled some holes in the side to be able to screw through into our shower frame, right there. And um, we've just put it in place to be able to work out where we want to drill our drain hole for the water at the bottom to escape from. Um, and we've just noticed that the string on the door is doing this, and that string is to um, add some tension to when you close and open the door. So if you can see in the bottom track there, there's a little screw there. If you unscrew that, you can move it in either direction to control the tension. So, if we do that now... Sounds good. It's a good string theory. <laughs> and you can see that one disappearing up there. And then that should be equal, pretty much, with that screw down there. So I can tighten that up now. And then, it should be fine. Nice. Looking right. good. Let's try and work out where these holes should be then. Yeah, so if we put just like one, two, three, four holes or so in this side bit then any water that falls down this screen will go into this little groove um, the channel and then it will basically come out the holes into the shower which is obviously what we want Always satisfying taking So what we're going to do is um, going to put some CT1 sealant around this edge, this small edge, because this one doesn't have any screws. Um, and even though we've drilled some screw holes on this bigger edge, we thought we might as well just add one bead of sealant on the back edge as well, just to help make it waterproof. And then we're going to just do a little bit on the bottom as well. We're going to leave the top because that doesn't actually touch the top of the shower, so that should be fine. And then hopefully even get in without making a massive mess. Well, I was about to say, hopefully this isn't going to go really messy. <laughs> it always does with sealant. Yeah. Good luck. Because I can't even put it on its base now. Okay. Yikes. I can't turn it around. Um... Maybe you need to step through it. 
then at least I can't put sealant on me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. This is like one of those steady hand games. I know. Alright. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, good job. Because you didn't help at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why didn't I get to be camera person? <laughs> okay, slight problem, we've just realised we've put it we put it together with the holes, the drainage holes, on this side, which is yeah. Not what we want, is it? No. So that's really annoying actually. It needs to turn around. Yeah. That's such a neat job getting it in as well. It's a good job we put that that silicon on so it might come out fairly smoothly. Alright, take two. Yeah. Well, it's a good job we realised that before the sealer had set and we'd screwed it in at least. Yeah. That would have been really annoying. Okay, <laughs> nice just for tidied up a bit. But yeah, we have got drainage holes on the correct side, so that's good. Sealant on the ceiling. <laughs> So we're using some stainless steel screws for this and just put a blob of sealant in there as well just for extra peace of mind. There we go. Alright. Do you think we've got enough clamps? <laughs> well we haven't got any more so... Nice. Well we basically got a door in which is pretty cool. Yeah. Just an invisible one <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> little bit of trim that we needed. It's a bit neater, doesn't it? Yep. And then we're just going to put some bathroom sealant down this edge on the right here and along the bottom just below the drain holes. And then we'll be done I think. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's the next day, that sealant should all be dry now, so we're just going to put the cartridge back in and see how it works. <laughs> right, to slide it in, there's just some, this is like a tab basically on the top and bottom, and we've just got to slot it into place. Like that. Right, so that's that in the channel now. So that will just slide in there to hold the cartridge in place. If I can just line it up, I think that's pretty much in at the bottom, and then I'll slide it in at the top. So that just clips over the top. And one on the bottom, just to stop these coming apart. And there we go, that should now be a completed shower door. Give it a go. Hey, very snazzy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Right, I guess we've got to actually test it out with some water now. I suppose so. Okay, that should do it. shower tank lives in this cupboard 
This is what we did in our last video. So we just turn this on. Okay. So if we just turn on the controller, let's get some nice hot water to test out with. <laughs> That's probably too hot. Uh, let's go for 45 degrees. Okay, so now we just gotta wait for it to heat up. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh, that's a nice warm air vent in there. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later. <laughs> so I'll go all the way around the frame. Okay. So I'm doing your left side at the moment. Looks good so far. We did preemptively add a little bit of sealant in the little joins between the metal at the top and the bottom as well, which is here. Uh, just in case and we also put a little bit of the and that's the CT1 we put a bit of CT1 along this edge as well and it looks like it's all working really good oh no we've got one tiny little leak coming out here at the bottom actually okay which is actually the only join that we forgot to put a bit of sealant on so we've done it on like this join but not on this one so yeah I think if we just add a bit of sealant there it should be okay well <laughs> just running out Oh, I could feel the steam though. Oh yeah, look at that, it's quite nice. <laughs> right, so this is where we can turn on the fan and we can eject all of that air, that moisture air. Yeah, so we'll have that on when we shower. And yeah, should put it straight out. So when the doors close, the only place the air can get out is at the top and as the hot air rises, it'll be sucked out by the fan, which is just there. Now we're also gonna have a little vent on our toilet which is going to go through the wall on that side there hopefully that will all work pretty good and if not we can always add another fan here but actually I think we're going to be fine I aren't think we? so yeah I didn't bring a towel with me <laughs> she's not used to being able to actually no, kind of have a shower in the bed right oh that was lovely and warm nice. so where's this leak then so we've got a tiny little drop around there okay so, so we'll just add another bead how do the drain holes work? We'll see how much I mean, water is in the Yeah, I was roof. pointing the water straight at the screen so it's coming straight down and into this and there's no water in, in there now so I think it works pretty well. Cool. Yeah. Right, I should do it, do you reckon? Just smooth that yeah. in. Make it a little bit less messy. So, my turn this time. Take two. Oh, that is quite nice actually, that warm air coming from <laughs> the bottom. Right. This is what it's like inside the shower. Starting to mist up in here now, so <laughs> turn this <laughs> off. Is there any leaks? I don't think so. Nice. Yeah, then when you open the door, uh, we wanted to go for a sliding door like this because it kind of cleans itself and squeezes off all the water when it rolls back in. Yeah. Um, I just think it's really cold as soon as you open the door, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got a little brush on the inside of the cartridge. So as that door goes in and out, it basically wipes the screen and it's actually wiping off all of the drips. So yeah, you can actually see, literally just turn the shower off, but the screen is basically clean. It's obviously, you know, wet, but there's no, Big droplets of water on there. Nope. And uh, yeah, we could have gone with a curtain, but we like this screen door. And also because we're going to have the toilet in there, if you're sitting on the toilet, we just didn't want a horrible wet um, shower curtain right next to us. And yeah, we could have done a door as well, but obviously there's not that much space to open this way. So yeah, this seemed like a good solution, didn't it? Yeah. The other thing, because it's a enclosed space, when I close this door. I can actually really feel it warming up in here straight away. And then we've got the vent coming in the bottom. So yeah, basically this entire room is gonna act as a drying room, so it's dual purpose. And we'll be able to hang wet clothes in here and have them dry out. And then obviously have the fan on outside to uh, yeah take out all the moisture, hopefully. Yeah. And then this screen door, even though it's like waterproof, um, what they recommend, the company recommends is that to increase the longevity of the waterproofness <laughs> is to use some um, scotch guard to spray on it and this is the one we've already got which is for um, like indoor fabrics on sofa and stuff um, but we've ordered the one that's for more heavy duty material like tent and outdoor stuff like that so we'll spray that on once we get it 
and hopefully that will work quite well. Yeah, I think so. Well, I guess that is the end of this video then. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. So yeah. we now have kind of a usable shower. Yeah, just got to have some waste plumbing to uh, take it down to the waste tank. Yeah, and once we get the recirculating filters in, they're going to leave it in that little space there and then we'll be able to cycle the same water and have a shower for as long as we want if it all works out. Sounds amazing. Yeah, <laughs> but really happy with the door. It's worked out pretty good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's nice and flush inside our frame so it doesn't stick out into the shower as well, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah. See you in the next video. So yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.